This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. It's Friday, March 27th. I'm Emma. And I'm Rachel with your morning announcements. Let's start off the show with a message from Ms. McCabe. Good morning, Gales. And yes, it's the time for Kinball. Today, we start our intramural league. It is open to all students. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't even know what it is. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to meet people. And if you uh, join our intramural league, you will have the opportunity to play in the national tournament, which will be at Cathedral at the end of May. Those of you who are coaching, please remember that it is an expectation that you are here by 4.30 and stay till 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, those of you who plan to coach but cannot make it this first evening, will you please come by my office during period three to let me know your status, and that way I will make sure I order you some swag. So Cathedral, have a great day, and see you all after school at Kinball. Thanks, Miss. There are many volunteer opportunities. If you are interested in soccer, the Hamilton District Soccer Association is looking for volunteer coaches who are 18 years or older. If you are interested in technology, the Mighty Program is looking for four students who would be interested in computer training for seniors. If you're looking to make a difference in the community, the Sherman Hub is looking for students to volunteer on April 18th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. for a community event. And if you are looking at and volunteering for a worthy cause, the Kidney Foundation needs volunteers for Kidney Day on May 9th. Up to 11 hours are available. You can find out more information and contact details about all of these volunteer opportunities posted on the CHS TV News Board outside of the Student Council office. Or you can speak with Mr. Dampty, our Christian Service Animator. This is a reminder to all graduates. Please complete and submit your graduation profile to Mr. Felice in the Guidance Office as soon as possible. A handout explaining how to do this is also available in the Guidance Office. If you are not returning next year, notify the main office on your lunch today. And speaking of grads, all graduates are asked to make sure they have booked a grad photo appointment. Even if you are not buying grad photos, you can take your photo for the yearbook and graduate composite. There's no, grad there's no fee associated with the grad photos unless you plan on purchasing some. If you haven't already done so, pick up your personalized online appointment card from the guidance office. New dates and times for grad photos have just opened up. Today during period 5, all grade 11 and 12 students will be given a presentation from the Mothers Against Drunk Drivers organization. Please listen for the announcements before you go to the forum. The assembly will last one hour. Students who fill in question and answer papers will be entered into a draw to win iTunes gift cards or Cineplex movie passes. If teachers have these forms, please bring them with your class to the assembly. Extra question and answer papers will be available in the forum as well. Thanks from Ms. Jordan's special event planning class. Today is the last day to sign up and get a permission form for the last grade 12 retreat of the year. The retreat is on Monday. Go to room 211 today to sign up and get your form today. Thanks from Ms. O'Keefe. And if anyone is in need of some community service hours, a local community group are looking for volunteers to help paint a float for their upcoming festival. All equipment will be provided. Please see Mr. Nordoff for details. Next week, you can buy tickets for the annual outreach Easter raffles. There will be many Easter baskets for you to win. Some filled with makeup, Revlon products, EOS lip gloss, makeup brushes, Toblerone bars, iTunes gift cards, and of course, a ton of chocolate. You can purchase raffle tickets during your lunch in the forum. Tickets will range in price from 25 cents to $1. The winners will be drawn live here on CHS TV next Thursday during period five. Attention all students interested in joining Cathedral's track and field team. Practices take place next week on Monday and Wednesday after school. Please meet Monday at 3.15 outside the phys ed office. Be prepared in appropriate athletic attire. All students in grade 9 to 12 are welcome. Thanks from Coach Verasso. This message is for the midget and junior girls volleyball teams. If you ordered a team sweater, they are now in. The sweaters will be available for you to pick up today after school between 3.45 and 4, or you can pick them up on Monday in the math office, which is room 319, immediately after school. If you still need to return your team jersey, you must return it before you can pick up your sweater. If you have any questions, please see Miss Nicole in room 319. Thanks from coaches Nicole and Madalino. And to end off our show, I'll pass it over to Mr. Pustai. Good Friday morning, Cathedral. 
On behalf of Mrs. Cannon and the entire administrative team, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who participated in yesterday's Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test activities. We'd like to especially thank Mrs. Verasso, Ms. Kusemba, Ms. Siapana, and the Literacy Committee for all their work throughout the year in preparation for that very important day. I'd like to thank all the teachers and educational assistants who were there not only to supervise but to provide assistance to those students who were accommodated. Everything went very, very well and I'm happy to report that the many students I spoke to had a great feeling that they were successful and that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, the results will probably come sometime in May or June. We will be uh, calling students down individually to share their individual results with them. Again, the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test is a graduation requirement, so it's really important that you know we do very, very well on this particular test. 